Hey everybody, hi and welcome to the video. First of all, Merry Christmas to everybody. This is gonna be a very fun and an interesting project where we will basically do a streaming pipeline using Kafka, of course, and this will also teach you some of the concepts about uh, hoodie. So what are we gonna build? Basically, we're gonna spin up um, the Kafka and Zookeeper via Docker, basically, right? And once we have the Kafka up and running, we're gonna publish certain messages into the Kafka topic. Now, our consumer in this case is gonna be a PySpark streaming application, which is listening to a topic. So it's gonna receive these real-time messages from Kafka, and we're gonna process that in PySpark, right? Once we do process that, we're gonna do an upsort on the data lake. Our data lake is gonna be our computer, so we're gonna insert all the Huri, we're gonna create a Huri table in our, um, you know, one of the drives and then essentially insert data into that, right? So everything in this project, you can do it essentially on your laptop. So without wasting much of time, let's get started with the video. So basically on the project directory, if you come to the folder, you will see a docker compost.yml file, okay? And uh, all you need to do is basically come in the directory and say docker compose of hyphen hyphen build. What this does is basically this will spin up again Zookeeper and a Kafka, right? So it will start up everything on our uh, local port. Uh, I'm assuming the port was 9092. Let me just make sure. Yeah, 9092. That's the port, right? So at this point, we have a Kafka up and running. And now what we're going to do is we're going to produce messages and we're going to process the message using uh, PySpark. The producer is very straightforward. I have a simple Python class called data generator, which generates certain fake data points. And essentially it will publish the JSON uh, data on a topic called first topic. Again, this is a very good exercise, which will teach you concepts about Kafka, streaming, hoodie, etc. So that's the code for the producer. Let's take a look at the consumer, which is a PySpark, right? So uh, there's a Python file called hoodie kafka.py. So you wanna come here and we'll spend some time uh, going over the code base, okay? Uh, again, straightforward, uh, these are all the imports, right? So that, there's nothing that I need to ex explain here, okay? Then the first thing that we have here is submit args. These are the external packages that I want to install. So I'm installing um, Apache Hoodie. I'm also installing Apache Spark, Apache Kafka, etc., etc. And then basically what I'm doing here is here. These are the all the settings that I'm defining. My database name is gonna be Hoodie DB. My table name is gonna be Kafka DB. Uh, my unique identifier is gonna be Employee ID. There's a column called TS. Um, the precom key is usually used for dedupe purposes. And my data lake here is gonna be my uh, computer <laughs> or laptop. So here in the temp folder, as you can see, Spark Data Warehouse, Hoodie DB table, and these are all the files and the Hoodie metadata. So I'm gonna, right? So that's that. That's the file location. So it's gonna be in my C drive. I'm doing an upsert, copy on write. Uh, this is the bootstrap URL, localhost 1992. This is the topic. And here are some of the basic settings that I'm using with Hoodie. At this point here, I'm creating a Spark session. So this should not be uh, anything new, very straightforward, right? Creating a Spark session and here we are essentially, uh, if you observe, I'm providing my warehouse path. Again, in this case, my warehouse is on my computer. Over here, we are reading the streaming data from a Kafka. As you can see, uh, read stream. And then essentially we are reading from, um, from a Kafka topic. Here is the topic. Here is the bootstrap server. Start from latest. You can also do earliest, right, if needed headers as true and then basically uh, here is a for each um, again for each batch we are going to call the function process message batch takes a data frame a batch id here we define the schema so um, again the data that we get um, i'm saying that there's a column there, there would be a column called value again in all kafka messages there will be a column called value uh, whatever message you send, I'm essentially trying to serialize that back as a JSON. And then basically I'm converting that into a data frame object, uh, as you can see over here. And then if the count is greater than zero, I'm gonna perform an upsert on my data lake. So let's see everything in action now. So it's very easy, right? Now let's basically see everything in action, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen. I'll start the producer on the right-hand side console. These are producing messages. And here I'm gonna start my Spark streaming job. Again, everything is working on my computer at this point, as you can see. And here, um, if I show you quickly, I should see new files coming in shortly in the uh, in my data lake, which is again my computer or laptop. 
so again these records are being generated this is a streaming job again all the modules have been installed and now after an interval so if i quickly show you again we have went through the code base right straightforward so after every one minute uh, it will receive the batch of record from a topic <coughs> excuse me and then what it's gonna do is basically it's gonna clean up uh, so like the data convert them into data frame and as you can see here we see a data frame and it's now inserted into the hoodie table right so i can i, I think i can show you as well so here you can see that name is there right maria hurst observed here and same here as well so again this is running as you can see now it is running real time as you can see on the right hand side of the console is the producer <coughs> excuse me which is producing messages on a topic called my first topic and here is my spark consumer which is gonna which is essentially consuming data at an interval of one minute it's processing the data and essentially inserting into my data lake again in this case it's my computer it could be s3 could be a, could be basically anything again these are all my parquet files and hoodie will essentially maintain the metadata for me so beautiful right this is a very very nice project because everything is available the docker compose the producer consumer all you need to do is just install and just try this out by doing this it will give you a really nice hands-on experience it will basically uh, um, you know make your concepts about apache hoodie kafka you know uh, spark so there's a lot lot going on in this project it looks easy because i have made it easy for you so all i want you to do is now download the project and try this out with that being said thank you so much for watching i hope you are enjoying all these amazing contents on apache hoodie if you have any further questions let me know and i'll try my best to answer those questions with that being said keep smiling keep programming see you guys in the next video